Hello folks, so I'm going after Comet Atlas one last time just out of curiosity because I know um, I've seen NASA images, I know it's broken into at least four large chunks um, and I want to capture it one last time I'm not expecting much um, it didn't turn into the show we were hoping for but right now um, this is the last chance I'm going to have to capture it because it's getting kind of low in the north. Right now, um, I think it's going to be about 40 degrees in the north and high. And I, I don't have uh, a really great view in that direction. So I, I'm just curious, will it, will it be a lot dimmer than what I've seen in the past? I don't know. Um, and because it's so low... Uh, during the night, it's going to be getting even lower. I won't even be able to capture enough data to animate it. So, I don't know. We'll just see how it looks. And my telescope is, um, the Rossi here, is not powerful enough to see the different fragments. I just want to see if it's going to be that much different or not. So, we'll see. Okay, so here it is. I zoomed in on it. There is Comet Atlas, and it's even more dim than I expected. While it looks longer... There is absolutely no core left. It's it's just faded out. And um, this is, right, today's date is April 26th. And here's when I imaged it back on April 10th. Or, I mean, this is, sorry, this is April 3rd. You can definitely see that bright core. And that's what we were hoping for, that it would stay intact and really develop a tail. But with the core broken up, I'm, I'm really surprised that it's this dim now. So I wasn't expecting to create an animation anyway, and now I'm definitely not going to bother. Um, well, that's all I got to share, folks. This is a quick video. Thanks, and I will see you later.